This is the new Dalesford cookery book and it's beautiful. And Steve, for his next recipe, is going to do Lady Bamford's family Christmas pudding recipe, which is on page 303. So here we are in the kitchen. And, uh, and we're going to make a Christmas pudding. Ever so simple. A combination of ingredients that need to be, of course, uh, weighed out. Uh, but then after that, it's really just a case of mixing them all together, sitting them in the fridge overnight, and then taking them out and cooking them the following day. So firstly, we'll start off with suet. Um, and that's going to be mixed together with some flour, some sugar, and some breadcrumbs. We'll give this a little bit of a, a mix. And then in another bowl, we'll mix together one whole egg together with some brandy, some white wine, and some stout. You can choose any, any type of stout you like something sweet perhaps. We're just going to give this all a little whisk and then we're going to pop that mixture in here. So what we're going to do then is we're going to bring all of this mixture together. So at this stage we're going to cling film that bowl, we're going to pop it into the fridge and we're going to leave it overnight. Now then, this has been marinating overnight, softening, letting all those flavours come together. And then we can just pop this cling film off. And then this is going to get popped into a pre-greased pudding bowl. So this would be just being greased with a little bit of butter. Um, equally, you could use a little bit of lard or, or even a little bit of oil. And then we're going to pop this into this pudding bowl. And you want it to come quite far up. Now we'll pop this to the side. And then we've just got a couple of pieces of greaseproof paper here, just large pieces. You can crumple them up and then that'll help them fold easier over the, over the pudding basin. And then we've just got a strong elastic band that we're going to use to secure this. So it doesn't need to be particularly pretty. It's going to go onto a tray and then it's going to go into our steamer oven for around about three to four hours. Now then, this pudding's been in the steamer here for three and a half hours um, and we're ready to take it out. So we'll pop this door open. Obviously always be careful with steam. Then we're going to pop this on the table. And then carefully Wow, that looks fantastic. And there we have it. Whether you wanted to finish it with a little bit of brandy butter or a little bit of cream, I think I'm just going to finish mine with cream, so we'll just pour this over. And we can serve it up. A fantastic Christmas pudding, traditional recipe, beautiful.